Good morning, everyone. Welcome to President's Day 2023. It is February 20th. I am Coach Moose, and I took yesterday off just because, hey, it was Sunday, and I don't want to overload what very few viewers I have with content. So I wanted just to take a break and kind of collect my thoughts for today's episode. And I'm going to lead off with a 23.1 leaderboard update. So the top female score worldwide belongs to a Mayara Faria with 263 reps. Um, Maria or Mayara is from Brazil. And the top U.S. female score belongs to Angelica Torres with 256 reps. And just to get a sense of where Miss Torres belongs as far as her affiliate. So Angelica Torres is from, looks like Yobaros CrossFit. And she is 20 years old. And so she currently owns the top U.S. score for 23.1. The top male worldwide score belongs to an Andrew Thompson, who also owns uh, the top U.S. score. Uh, 386 reps. Uh, Mr. Thompson is 41 years of age and works out at CrossFit Hollywood. Coincidentally, the top four spots on the worldwide leaderboard belong to American men. Just to give you an idea of how his score comes about. So one round equals 200 reps. So to get 386 reps, he got through all but 14 of the muscle-ups in the second round. So that means that he got 60 calories, completed 60 calories on the rower, 50 toes to bar, 40 wall ball shots, 30 power cleans, and 6 ring muscle-ups. So... Uh, that's the lead-off uh, story on my top three today. Coincidentally, we all know Laura Horbach had to redo the workout due to the barbell loading error last Thursday after the live announcement. And she was five short of matching her initial score. She comes in at 261 reps. And Jacqueline Dahlstrom comes in. Also at 261 reps, looking at the top three spots in the men's worldwide, as I said, Andrew Thompson owns the top uh, worldwide and U.S. score, as does Brian Fuentes with 380 reps, and a gentleman from Australia, this is just now uh, a live update. He is third with 380 reps. So that's where we are with the open leaderboard. I myself did 23.1 yesterday. It was a complete disaster and I am redoing, redoing it this afternoon. So I'll give you my perspective on the workout after I uh, complete the redo. Number two on my top three, you all may have heard Christy Aramo O'Connell announce her retirement. She never finished outside the top 13 in her seven CrossFit Games appearances. So uh, Christy Aramo O'Connell, one of the OGs, one of the uh, fan favorites in the sport, uh, we congratulate her on a successful career, and I am sure that she will stay in the space for quite some time, long after the curtain falls on her career. 
And then last but not least, third on my top three. So CrossFit Mayhem dropped their 22, 2022 games documentary called Genesis, a story of Mayhem's Mayhem Nation's 2022 CrossFit Games. So my initial impression, and maybe like when you watch it, the first question that you might ask is, well, Haley Adams, uh, out next to Rich Froning, she may be the most uh, prominent public face of CrossFit Mayhem. That may be a disputable claim, but uh, there's no there's no Haley Adams. You see Haley Adams like in the in the various screenshots or whatever you want to call them uh, throughout the documentary. But as you watch the documentary and get into it a little bit further, you realize that what the purpose of this particular documentary is to one highlight mayhem's up and coming athletes in the new generation plus pay tribute to a veteran OG uh, CrossFit Games athlete, Cara Saunders, who, as you know, announced that she is not competing this year. So uh, we have a healthy balance of both the new generation up and coming at CrossFit Mayhem, and then kind of a uh, not so much a farewell or send off for Cara Saunders. Uh, some of the up and coming athletes that we see highlighted throughout this particular documentary is uh, Bailey Rail. Uh, Bailey Rail, there's no indication if she's competing at all in 2023. Uh, as you know, shortly after the 2022 season or games, uh, she and Tyler Christopher announced their engagement. Uh, Bailey hasn't competed since finishing 20. 20- Eighth at the 22 CrossFit 2022 CrossFit Games, and she at Wadapalooza unofficially dubbed herself as coach to her fellow athlete and best friend Paige Powers, which leads me to talk about Paige Powers. Paige Powers is 19 years old, and she won the female individual elite division at the 2023 Wadapalooza. So. Uh, it also highlights her, uh, this particular documentary highlights her, um, her, her rise in the, in the sport. And I think that we're going to see her, uh, quite often. Also, we see featured prominently throughout the documentary, uh, Guy Mayeros from Brazil, uh, Lazar Jukic, and then the two teams from Mayhem, not Mayhem Freedom. But Mayhem Independence and Mayhem Justice. And I'll talk about Mayhem Justice real quick. Mayhem Justice uh, featured some very young uh, CrossFit athletes from the Mayhem camp. Uh, They were unfortunately cut from the field at the games. So this documentary does a pretty good job of just kind of highlighting their ups and downs and the lessons that they learned uh, throughout their experience at the games. Going to Mayhem Independence, Uh, we know that Luke Parker, in the documentary, announced his intent to compete as individual uh, in the 2023 season. Alexis Johnson, she joined Team CrossFit Franco's Misfits, which features teammates Brandon Luckett, Shailen Laurie, and Logan Collins. They announced their team formation on Instagram on February 16th. And then Sasha Nieves, if you remember, she had a highlight moment at the 2022 Mid-Atlantic CrossFit Challenge semifinal uh, when she nailed a very graceful and textbook uh, uh, power snatch. She joined Proven Fitness, which also coincidentally has uh, Taylor Williamson and Andrea Nisler. So Sasha Nieves joined Proven Fitness. I could not throughout the documentary. I may have missed it, but I did not see what Angelo DiCicco's intent is uh, for the 2023 season. I looked through his Instagram to see if I could find any indication of what his intent is as a competitor, whether he's going to stay with team 
or whether he is going to compete as an individual. So that remains to be seen. So it's a pretty good documentary as, as you know, Mayhem has a pretty strong media branch uh, within that affiliate. It's very well managed and their products, whether it be uh, short form videos or long form videos or documentaries such as this one, uh, very well done and it's worth a watch. Honorable mention uh, to my top three, Sung Young Choi, one of my personal favorites because she is the so far sole representative from the Republic of Korea or South Korea uh, in the CrossFit uh, competitive space. She announced her withdrawal on Instagram uh, early this morning, or I saw the, her announcement early this morning. She withdrew uh, due to injury, and so she's taking time this year to rehab and recover from that particular injury, and we hope to see her come back in the 2024 season. Just to give you some context about uh, Sung Young Choi's games or co her competitive experience, uh, she finished 34th at the 2021 Games, finished 26th at the 2022 Games, and finished 44th in the Worldwide Open in 2021. So that is that is my top three plus an honorable mention. And that's all I have today. Like I said, I am redoing 23.1 later this afternoon. We'll see how that goes. I definitely intend to stick to my plan this time, not take so many uh, breaks because I, uh, I let that, uh, I let time get away from me because of my breaks. And then lastly, uh, because I'm not strong with wall ball shots, I just have to remember, hey, look, you know, quick manageable sets, stick to the plan and don't let that wall ball get into my head. So those were my three takeaways from my experience with 23.1 yesterday. I'm definitely going to leverage them for good this afternoon during my redo. And I'll talk about it, how I did with 23.1 in tomorrow's episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, as usual, give a like, a subscribe. Uh, I would love to hit, see some more engagement from viewers. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.